Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making a quick video discussing the very exciting news that Gracie Gold has officially qualified for the 2020 U.S. National Figure Skating Championships, which will be held in Greensboro at the end of January. Now, she did so by competing at the Eastern Sectional Championships this past weekend, where she needed to place within the top four and meet the technical minimum requirement of 75 between both programs to advance. Now, she did just that. She was actually third overall, and her tech score was high enough to advance, which it was not at regionals about a month ago. So not only did she qualify, but I genuinely saw improvement in her skating from regionals to sectionals, and I wanted to talk about all of that in this video. So let's start with the short program. She was second after the short, which was great. It, she received a nice score of 63, much better improvement from regionals where her score was 51. And pretty much that was because she landed all of her jumps. But I'd say the highlight of that short program was the triple lutz double toe combination because of the fact that she saved the landing on the lutz because she was off axis so that means her position was tilted in the air and with a lot of skaters or some skaters when you're off axis it's easy to make the jump just go and fall instead of staying on your feet but not only did she save the landing but she added on the double toe to complete a combination to get the points then the triple loop was clean and also the double axle. So it was nice to see all of those jumps completed well in the short program. As a lot of skating fans know, when you pop your intended solo triple jump, that is actually zero points, which is something you don't want to do. And at regionals, she popped her triple flip, which was really unfortunate. But thankfully, she did well enough to advance onto sectionals, and we got to see her here. The short program is to I Put a Spell on You, choreographed by Jeremy Abbott, and that program is growing on me. She actually looked physically better. I like the new dress. It, I like how it looks on her. She seems to be skating a lot faster and is more confident in her overall skating. And speaking of which, I think the judges agree as well because her program component scores have gone up, I think, quite a bit since regionals. So let's take a look at the scores specifically. Here at sectionals, her total PCS was 29.75 compared to 25.8 at regionals. So that's going from low sixes to low to mid sevens, which is a great improvement for Gracie. I'm glad that the judges <laughs> uh, rewarded her for her overall improvement. Now let's talk about her free skate. It is to She Used to Be Mine by Sarah Borelli's also choreographed by Jeremy Abbott. And I will just talk about the skating with the free program first. I think she's really relating well to the lyrics and you can tell that she chose this music for herself because it has some personal meaning. In the PCS component segment of interpretation of the music, she received a total segment score for that bracket of 8.13. So that means the judges were able to see that she interpreted the music well. So kudos to Gracie. That is actually pretty great compared to where she was a year ago competing just a short program at Ross Telecom Cup. So kudos to Gracie Gold. Otherwise, her program component marks did go up a little bit, still in low sevens to mid sevens for the PCS. The jumps, they were not perfect, but they were good enough. We could talk about how they improved. So she did fall on the opening triple lets, but thankfully it was called rotated. She did struggle on the landing of the second triple lutz, but was able to tack on a double toe that was under rotated, unfortunately. But she really seemed to find her groove once she hit the triple loop. I think that must be her money jump these days, where I don't think it always was she, when she was super competitive. So Gracie, go for the loop <laughs> as many times as you can. That's working for you. She attempted two double axles, got those rotated, because I believe at regionals she popped those two double axles, which really hurt her overall score and the technical score as well. She ended the program, actually she ended with a double axle, but before that she had a really nice triple sow cow double toe. So it's nice to see her going for these elements. Spins look great too. A lot of level threes, she only received one level four on a spin in the free program. She used to be really known for them, so I hope that she can find ways to get the levels back up by 
checking off a lot of the boxes to get the, the proper levels. Otherwise, yeah, it's just really great to see her doing so well. So she's going to be at nationals. She did make an improvement here at sectionals. I do think she needs to show a little more improvement to be more competitive once she's in Greensboro. So really she only attempted four triples in the free skate. That's really gonna wanna turn into five or six. I didn't see three combinations. One combination could be a three jumps. Those are some things that are missing. But she has two months and a lot can happen if you train really hard in that amount of time. So I'm really excited. Hopefully the nerves don't get the best of her at nationals. She's competed there many times before, but this time it's gonna be very different for her. And hopefully she uses that to her advantage because she had to earn her spot at nationals. It was not given to her. She did not have a buy as some other skaters do. If you're unaware, some skaters get a buy to nationals, which means they don't have to compete at either regionals or sectionals if they have a Grand Prix assignment or if they placed well enough at the previous U.S. National Figure Skating Championships. I think there's also a buy for reigning world medalists and Olympic medalists. I feel like I should be saying more, but this is just really exciting. I saw improvement. I see some fight in her. One thing I would personally like to see at nationals is a triple-triple combination, mainly because her coach has been teasing so many of those on Instagram. I really want to see it <laughs> in the program. So that would just be my wish. Otherwise, I'm happy she qualified, as I'm sure many other skating fans are as well. Also, I wanted to make another note. I think my channel is going to start rebranding because I don't have the time to do full event recaps. One, I'm not watching them. Two, can't find the time to film them. Even if I did, I'm at my office right now. I'm not filming at home. And so the little skating that I do catch, I do want to talk about it on videos. So I think my channel is going to turn into a commentary channel as opposed to full event recaps. I hope you all appreciate it, but at least I'm not leaving the sport at all. But thank you so much for watching me and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.